And now we want to do go back to that breaking news that we're following from Detroit's east side. We were telling you a woman's body had been found bound and burned in a driveway. And Nick Monticelli just arriving on this disturbing scene. Nick, talk us through where you are and what police are saying. Right, good morning to you. We are at the corner of Alma and Celestine, which is on Detroit's east side. And you can see behind me, they've got a very large area taped off here, uh, uh, an entire block, in fact. And the home where all this is happening is off to the left side. We're on the outside of this perimeter, though, so you can't really tell. We do have some video to show you, though. All of this happening at about 5 o'clock this morning. The call originally came in as an apartment fire. That obviously is not the case. These are mostly abandoned homes. I can't tell from this vantage point if somebody actually lives in that home or if that home is abandoned as well. But police did realize that they've got a woman who, like you said, was bound and burned her body in the drive, drive, driveway of that home. And that is all the information that we have to go on right now. They are just beginning their investigation. In fact, we don't see any of the detectives or crime scene technicians here just yet because this is only about an hour old. So this scene will likely remain this way for several more hours to come. We don't know much about the victim. We do not know um, how all of this happened, but we do know again that she was found burned and bound and her body in that driveway. So again, we're at the corner of Alma and Celestine on Detroit's east side. We will be here all morning to try to figure out exactly what happened and hopefully more about who this victim is and more about what hope, um, I should say horribly happened to her. We are live here on Detroit's east side, Nick Bonacelli, Local 4 News today. As far as the home where she was found, Nick, is it an occupied home, a vacant home? Can't tell from this vantage point. Okay. Um, if, if you look down there, you can see that every home up into that point is vacant or abandoned, mm -hmm. but there are some cars in the street closer to that home, so there's a chance that somebody may be living there, but we're so far back from the actual crime scene that it's difficult to tell. You only wonder if, if there was somebody living down the street or nearby that they might have heard or seen something. Yeah. Uh, Nick, will be checking back in with you right. Right, as you gather more information. All right.